All right, I see what you're trying to do here, but you need the foam on the end of the hanger to get the, the deodorant the or any of the marks off it. Oh, that is okay. like my favorite trick of the trade. I use it all the time. What, what do you call that little foamy thing that I Exactly. Missed? That's just it. Little foamy <laughs> oh, thing that gets deodorant little off. little foamy thing. That's, that's easy enough, I guess. Moving along here, Ryan. We are back in the vendor kitchen with registered dietitian Katie Jeffrey. We're going to have a little bit of a food quiz here. We like to eat, and it's not necessarily the healthiest things, yeah. right? Nice. Well, all foods can fit, right? In moderation, balanced variety, as we oh, talked what about you said before. said earlier today. Mm -hmm. But let's talk a little bit about sugar. At the uh, end of the last segment, we said white sugar versus brown sugar. Is one healthier for you? One is actually healthier. The granulated sugar or white sugar has been stripped of all its nutrients, so it's just providing calories or energy for you. Okay. Whereas the brown sugar, either dark brown sugar, light brown sugar, still has molasses in it, which has trivial amounts of certain nutrients, calcium, potassium, and iron. So the darker the sugar, the more nutrient rich it will be, and it also has a greater f flavor profile so that you can use a little bit less of it typically. It, less calories there. Yes. How about those, uh, that, that, it's not brown sugar, but it's like uh, Sugar in the raw? Yeah. About? Yeah, is, is that sugar, better for you? Yep, it's raw, sugar it's in the raw, raw. Is, is better because it still has some molasses in it. Figure, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. So. All right. Um, let's move on to bread. I find the bread aisle in the grocery store very overwhelming. Yes. I love the bread aisle, it's my favorite, <laughs> but there's, I don't know what to buy to keep it healthy. It is really overwhelming. So the reason why I brought this out is because there's a difference between whole wheat bread and 12 grain bread sometimes. And this is where it's really important to be a detective when you're looking at the food nutrition label. Okay. So for this particular 12 grain bread, it's just as healthy as 100% whole wheat bread. What you're looking for is the first ingredient to be whole grain, whether it's whole wheat or whole oats. So if you notice See on the here. package, Ryan, yep. it says whole, wheat, whole flour. wheat flour. Now, if it just said white flour, and then in parentheses had the list of all these other nutrients, mm -hmm. it's just white flour, and then it's been enriched or fortified with all the nutrients that they've stripped out. Okay. The other thing that you want to look for on the food label for a bread product is that per slice, trying to find a bread that has three grams of fiber or more. And then also looking for two grams of protein or more. Typically, that's going to be a healthier bread because it's going to have more whole grains in it. Is there something that they put in the bread to, to give it that protein? Not like typically. Oats or any... Oh, yeah, oats can, whole wheat. Um, all the whole grains will have more protein, fiber, um, and okay. different nutrients in them. All right, so, so, which one do we yeah. want to buy? So, again, for, th for this particular bread, 12 grams is just as healthy as 100% whole wheat. So, it's really, it really boils down to looking at the nutrition label. I just want to know the easiest <laughs> one to buy. <laughs> so, it is. So I better read the labels. You have, have to read the labels. labels. That's okay. the biggest thing. A little thing. bit of work there, Teresa. Yes, a little okay. bit of work. <laughs> All right, now, how, how about the next one? We have uh, bran flakes, and then we have uh, raisin bran, which, of course, has the sugary uh, raisins, raisins in them, which are obviously much healthier, right? Well, the thing about raisin bran is that if you buy typical regular raisin bran where the raisins are already added, many companies take the raisins and coat them in sugar. Right. So you're adding They're tasty, huh? tasty yeah. except then you're getting the sugar from the raisins, which is a natural sugar, and then you're getting added sugar. We want to reduce the amount of added sugar we're adding into uh, our diet. Okay. So what you really want to do is by regular bran flakes, add your own raisins or dried fruit. Uh -huh. Now you're getting the best of both worlds. Okay. And then moving on, uh, speaking of sweets, we have some oatmeal that, that you would just put together yourself and then the mm -hmm. kind that you get here in the packages, which I must say are very convenient. They are very just convenient. Water. Yeah. And what's neat about those is they now have ones that are all natural, so there's nothing else added. The thing with the ones that already come um, pre-made when you're getting like a brown sugar or something, they have a lot more sugar, of course, than regular oats, which has no sugar added. When you make your own, they also have the, the ones, the instant ones, add a lot of sodium. So for many individuals, many Americans, we consume too much sodium, which is heart unhealthy. So that's the reason why if you can make your own just by instant oats, um, flavor it yourself. I love to ask people to add, instead of sugar, adding fruit to flavor it. Mm. Then Good you're that. getting more nutrients as well. So how, mashed bananas, berries, things uh, like that, cinnamon. How about the type of oatmeal where you put it in a mason jar and it like sits in water and it cooks by itself? Have you heard of that? I haven't, but you could. So maybe like steel cut oats you're thinking of. Like uh, a lot of a lot of my clients that I work with will put um, steel cut oats or oats in a crock pot overnight. Yeah. And when they wake up, it's all ready to go. Maybe so it's that's just it. like instant. Uh, <laughs> she, she's losing it over here. Maybe I'm going crazy. But no, our, our producer Megan. Yes. She she has this mason jar every day with blueberries Does and oatmeal heat it up? and water. No, she says it cooks overnight. And I'm like, how does it cook overnight? Wow. Without Ma any heat. Ma maybe it just soaks up the water or the milk and yes. then it cooks. I don't know. I well, it does. It takes a while for o oats to soak oats. water. Overnight, overnight oats. oats. That's there what it you is. Go. Yes. Then you heat it up in the microwave. Then it's like instant mm. oatmeal. Yeah. A little bit more prep. Well, that sounds tasty. Well, That's moving on from my stupid. No. <laughs> yeah, from my stupid. No, I didn't realize that was a thing. It sounds really convenient. You just yeah. do it the night before. And right. And healthy. Right. Yeah. 
I like that. All right, turkey sandwiches versus salads. This is deceiving. It is deceiving. And again, it all nutrition is not black and white. So it depends upon what you're putting on the salad. So if you have a turkey sandwich made with whole wheat bread, some mustard, some vegetables, lean turkey slices, it's a great nutritious okay. meal. And then how about the salad? And then the salad. If you're choosing a salad that has a creamy dressing typically with cheese or things like that, how the calorie the cheese on it. The <laughs> calorie count increases and then you've got a lot of saturated fat as well. So then you're taking really healthy, nutrient-rich vegetables with lots of fiber and everything like that, mm -hmm. and adding something that's less healthy. Now again, just like Dr. Weil said in an earlier segment, you could just have the salad dressing on the side and use it sparingly, and then that would be the moderation piece that I've been talking about. Got it. Right. And then okay. last up, uh, we, we have one which could be pretty controversial here. Yes. We have brown rice and a baked and potato. Baked potato. This, this is a carbo load right here. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Uh, I would say brown rice. And Ryan? I think baked potato has a lot of calories, a lot of carbohydrates. It's just in there. white. I see the white of the potato and I think it's bad. Ah, so that's. And what do I know? Yeah. And that's what helped to help people get away from it. Just because it's white doesn't mean Overnight it's bad potatoes, or unhealthy. Yeah. yeah. Potatoes. So this is kind of a trick question because both are really healthy. Because potatoes, both of them are high in fiber, they okay. both provide some protein. Brown rice has a little bit more protein than the potato. Mm -hmm. um, they're both great in nutrients. Potatoes actually have 45% of your daily need for vitamin C, which many people don't realize. Really? So when you right. bake them, the vitamin C stays in. Now, if you boil them, the vitamin C is water soluble, so it'll leach out, and you won't get all those effects. And isn't the skin the healthiest part of the potato? That's also a myth. There's lots of nutrients no. throughout the entire potato. Wrong. So again, <laughs> you can see how informed I am about my uh, health topics here today. Or if you keep the skin on, then you're just getting a little bit more nutrients all together. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, if you're doing a baked potato, it depends on what you put on it. Same thing with rice. It depends right. how you make it. Butter so, and sour cream, right? <laughs> so, again, a little bit of olive oil, some chives. Right. Bacon. Oh, Lots well. of bacon, bacon bits. Just Does saying. it matter how you prepare the potato? I mean, I know that you said if you boil it, you lose it. What if you microwave it? Microwave is a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. Yep, because it will keep in all the nutrients as well. Got it. That's typically what I do. Wait, so, so which one is healthier? What's the? It's a trick question for you. Oh, both oh, oh, both, both are healthy. Okay, both right. are extremely healthy for you. Is this whole grain? That is a brown rice, so it's whole grain. You, you want to know how I know that? How do you know I that? I read the label. <laughs> Very which is now saying. what which I have is, to Which do is what we all need grid. to do, right? <laughs> just saying. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly. Well, Katie, thanks so much for being here. A lot of great information. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Katie. We appreciate it.